hello. Oh, we got to flip it. I don't think you want to see my ceiling, do you? <laughs> I wouldn't want to see it either. Okay. Just trying to get it figured out here. Hopefully it is right and we're right where it's supposed to be. Come on. Hey guys, I think it's going the right way. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. It is, yay! Yay, yay, yay! Okay, let's see here. All right. Hi, Carla! Hi, Bev! Hi, Carol! Guys, I gotta go in the right way, I'm so excited! <laughs> doesn't take much to get me excited does it okay I'm just trying to I told you I meant one by the time I was done with this I was gonna learn how to do all this okay now because I wasn't exactly sure where it was supposed to go here we go let's put on that's why I started a little bit early so that um, I could do this kind of stuff get it all set up ready to go all right let's see here i am going to need to move my camera okay i need to move my stand a little bit here now you guys are going to see all my cheat sheets that's okay so my camera needs to go a little to the left i believe let's see hi Brittany. i'm glad you could join us Okay, so there's something in the way. Is it this? I bet it's this. Okay. I still need to move this over a little bit. Oh, I go in the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. That's why. Okay. I promise to get ladies. I'm going to get this down to a science. Hi, Doris. How are you? Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for joining. I'm just trying to get things centered here. It two, oh, it's not 2 o'clock yet, so we're still doing good. Okay, I'm just going to move this over. There we go. That'll be easier. Thank you for sharing, Bonnie. I appreciate that. If anybody else feels the urge, I would love for you to share this. Okay, now i got to try to put this back on, but not cover up the camera. There we go. Now I have enough light. Okay. So it is, oh, oh it's two o'clock, perfect, perfect, yay. Okay, I'm not moving anything. <laughs> so it stays right where we want it. All righty, well, welcome back everyone. I'm so glad you are joining me today. Hi Robin, it has been a lot of fun. You know, I really wasn't sure how this was gonna work today. But I am really glad that it is working out and things are going so smoothly. You know, the technical problems, that's going to happen. It's good. We're all good. I'm learning. And, you know, I have a new stand and um, I'm not used to using my phone. I usually use a camera before when I did my Facebook Live. So this is all new to me. But that's okay. That is all right. So, oh, I keep moving it over too far. I know me and my OCD is kicking in, guys. It's got to be centered. I'm sorry. Okay. Hi, Sarah. All righty. We're going to go ahead and get started. Well, welcome back or welcome for your first time today. I'm glad you could join us. Um, I am having a great time going through the new Stamping Up catalog. 
Look how beautiful it is. I'm trying not to get glare on it. It is so beautiful on the outside, but wait till you open this baby up. Woohoo! Look at that beauty in there. Okay, I want to go over a couple things. I know if you've joined me the last two times, you've already heard this. So you can go quick, grab a drink and come back. But for the new people, I do want to go over it one more time. The big thing that we all are excited about when a new catalog comes out for the anniversary, you know, the annual catalog is the new in colors. And let me tell you, they are beautiful. We have Jade, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, uh, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight. And I will tell you, these are my two favorite. I just love these two colors together. Not sure why, but man. Okay, so also I wanted to show you, we have the designer series paper that are in the same, the colors, the ink colors, very pretty. And you can also get these in the 2019 to 2021 colors and the brights, neutral, subtles, and regals too. You can get these, these patterns of designer series paper. Okay, and then I would like to show you my other two projects that we have done today. This was our first project in our first segment. Um, so fun, so simple. And then this is one of my favorite products is the peony, um, peony or peony, however you say it. Excuse me, I just ate lunch, sorry. Um, and I made with our little uh, mini pump, paper pumpkin boxes and you open it up and I used our note cards and envelopes and made a little card out of the whole set. Isn't that adorable? I just love this project. Um, I have to say it's one of my favorite projects too. And then um, I also wanted to let you know a few things coming up. Number one is the Stampin' Scrapper Holiday Extravaganza is gonna come up. We're gonna have it the last week of September this year. And oh my goodness, guys, we got it on a golf course. It is beautiful. The whole one side of the room, and this room is massive, um, is windows. And we look out onto the golf course. It is so pretty. And um, it will be at right bat. It's at the Twin Base Golf Course. Um, we're outside of the base, so you don't have to worry about getting into the base or anything like that. It's, on the, it's outside of the base, but it's right next to it. And I was able to, I shouldn't say I was, Robin was able to get this for us um, at a big discount compared to last year. So we were able to drop the price and we're going to have more food. So, which is wonderful. There will be an afternoon snack included this time and it is going to be $99. Now, if you're a member of my team, my Joyful Butterflies team, you can get it registered now or you can start registering June 22nd for my customers and for my downline. Now, to be considered a customer, someone emailed me this morning and asked what is um, the requirement for being a customer. And it, I don't have a limit. Um, you know, if you want to buy, I don't know, something for $3, you are a customer, you purchased from me. Um, I know there are other people that make limits. At this point in time, I am not, doesn't mean in time it might not change, but right now I am not making that uh, requirement of an amount. We would love for you to join us. Um, I will be going through and I'll show a couple of, um, in the catalog, I'll go back and show you a couple of the stamp sets that we are going to be using at the retreat. Now, if there is an issue with the, um, like the COVID, if they do something changes or something happens and pray to God that it does not, um, that we will be doing it online like I'm doing now. Um, we would break it into four segments like we are, but you will be mailed everything that you would get at the event. You will get that mailed to you. Okay, so we got that. And then um, I do want to show you this. If you have... Um, I do have door prizes today. So if you book a party, if you join my team, and I'll talk about that here in a minute, if you um, place an order today, your name will be put in, and it's three different prizes. I have a prize for the 
joining my team. I have a prize for having a party. I have a prize for placing an order. Your name will be put in there and then you will get a chance to, um, what you call it, um, oh, ah, a chance to win those prizes. Sorry, I looked at a, the extravaganza is in, it's in Fairborn, Ohio. It's a suburb of Dayton. Um, I forgot to put that, say that, didn't I? I apologize. Yes, but it's in Fairborn. Um, I'm in the Beaver Creek area, which is right next door to Fairborn. And so it is right there. I hope you can join us. We would love to have you, um, Rosalind. And thank you for joining us. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for joining us. Um, and then, but I did want to tell you about this. Stamping Up is doing this. It's during the month of June to help celebrate this fabulous catalog that if you order $250 yourself or if you have a party and the sales are over $250, you will get an extra $25. So if you had $250, you would get automatically get 10% savings. Uh, not savings, you get 10% in free product, but you can add that and get $25 more and you're going to get $50 in free product. Hello, who doesn't like free product? And speaking of free product, I'll just quick get my spiels over and we'll get going here, ladies. Um, in, they're also stamping up as having a pick a free bundle. And what that means is if you get the best deal in the whole catalog, which is the starter kit, and join my team, Joyful Butterflies, you will get to pick a free bundle. It doesn't matter what bundle out of the catalog, you will get to get it for free. So you'll get in your normal starter kit, you get $125 of product. You get to pick what product you want. Um, for $125 for $99, free shipping. Woohoo, who doesn't like that? And all you do is pay the taxes on that $99. You will get $125 free. So say you take out, you want to get a um, bundle. Let's go with the Blossoms and Bloom. That is $60. So if you get that as your free item, you're going to get $185 of product for $99. And guess what? I welcome people that want to get it for the discount or want to just what we say are hobby demos. I say that um, you're not so much hobbies. You're just having fun dumb demos is what I like to say. Um, so if you're a having fun demo, or if you even want to do this as a business, it is totally up to you. And I will support you from the, uh, whatever one you want to do. Like I said, get the discount. It's awesome discount. Number two, to, um, be have fun demo or three to do it as a business, whichever you want. I would be there for to help you. And my team is called Joyful Butterflies. So if you go to stampandscrapper.com, you will find out that too. And also, if you want to get um, emails on what upcoming events, um, I'm really enjoying doing these online um, classes that I might be doing more of these, even I, not that I might, I will be doing more of these online classes because like I said, I'm really enjoying them. Um, but if you go on there and write, um, sign up for my newsletters, there's one to subscribe to my blog, and then there's also one for the newsletters. And those you will get all my emails. Okay, I think that's all the spiels I had going up. But I do want to tell you of two classes that are coming up that the RSVP is due tomorrow. The first one is my Memories of More class. And what that is, is we... You will get a packet of the Memories of More. Beautiful. It's for every uh, flowers, flowers for every season. Goodness, I get so excited. I get tongue tied. But you would get a pack of the envelopes and note card and the cards. They're full size cards. They're not note cards. And you would get the Memories and More cards. Now, if you're not a scrapbooker, you're like, why do I have for? No. Well, guess what? We're not going to be scrapbooking with them. We're going to be making cards. Now, in this, there's no stamping. You don't have to buy any stamp sets. All you need to buy is this and the price of my class. And these are included in the class fee. And so you would get this is one of the cards that we're going to make. I'm just going to show you two. You get a sneak peek. And this is another one that you get. And like I said, that we're going to make, I should say. And I will be doing a, um, what you call it, a video like this to show you how to make all of these. I will send you everything you need. Like on this card, I added extra cardstock behind here. 
then I will send you that piece of cardstock so that you can make it and we'll make our cards together. Now, designing these, I took maybe an hour, hour and a half to design 10 cards. It didn't take it long because they do a lot of the work for you. So I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be a fast, easy class. Like I am going to order another pack just so I can make another group. But I did, where did I put those? I wanted to show you, here it is. This is what you're going to have left over from your pack. We're going to use these, but this, look how much you get left over. You're going to have all of this still left over, and you have all of these still left over. So you can make more cards out of this kit. It is so beautiful, so colorful, and it has the new ink colors in it. Well, so, hello, how can you not like that? Because those are gorgeous. Okay, and also coming up, I have my um, stamp camp. And in my stamp camp, what that is, is, hi, Christina, hi, Diane, Di Dana, Dana, <laughs> um, and Kathy, thank you for joining us. Like I said, I get so excited, I get tongue-tied. But at my stamp camp, we make six cards two of three different designs, and this month we're gonna be using Happiest of Birthdays. Um, this one is a fun one. Like I said, I like the big one. I like the big ones because it's they're easy to make the cards, they're fast, and I just like that the sentiment is the center of the card. I think that's fun to do. So we're and who doesn't need birthday cards? And what's nice about this, you can use these for masculine or feminine cards, kids' cards. You can use this for anybody. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So that class is coming up. That class is $15 or free with a $25 order. Now, if you want that stamp set, guess what? It's $21. So add something else on there for a little thing. Maybe an embellishment. Maybe one of our new um, Stampin' Seal adhesive. And you got your class for free. Now, if you need me to ship it to you, there is an $8 charge because of the shipping. Okay, I wanna show you the next two. Oh, I don't think I told you the price of the Memories and More, did I? Um, the Memories and More class is $35, and that includes the Memories and More, the envelope. Oh, and you will also get the 2020, 2022 indoor um, in color enamel dots, but these are not, they're um, out of stock right now. So when they come back in stock, I will get them and I will mail them to you. So those, but that is included in your class fee. So I did want to show you our fun projects from this morning. We did You Are So Special. And I think I already showed you this, didn't I? Oops, sorry. Did you do we rhyme? So let's get started with our catalog, shall we? Okay, let me get my stuff out of the way. I got my all my little cheat sheets, so I know, make sure I tell you guys everything. Oh, I forgot something. Hello. On Thursday, our neighborhood is having a garage sale, um, but I am having a craft sale. I am going to be selling, stamping up stamps, inks, paper, dies, punches, um, other craft stuff that is not stamping up, um, and of course, garage sale stuff. So, but I'm only holding mine on Thursday. Um, from nine to three. So if you want to stop by, check it out. I have seven and a half years. No, that's how long I've been a demo. Probably nine years worth of stuff that I'm um, going to try to sell. Um, so just come on and stop by. If you need my address, just message me on Facebook and I'm happy to give it to you. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? Okay, so we're in our catalog and we are going to start off on page 131. This is the Artistry Blooms. Okay. Oops. Let me move this up a little bit. Oh, I for, hold on. I forgot because let me see. So I'm just looking on. Okay. I can go up a little bit. Okay. If you do place an order today, make sure that you use um, 
the host code because that way you can get free products from me. If it's $50 or more, you'll get a little gift from me. If you're going to order $150 or more, please do not use the host code. I want you to get the stamping rewards and you'll still get a little gift from me. Okay, so let's get back to our beautiful catalog. Look how pretty this is. This is Artistry Blooms Stamps. I'm a sweet. There is the stamp set, the designer series paper. There's rainbow glimmer paper and the sequins. I'll be showing you the sequins in a little bit when we get to the embellishments. And we're almost done with our stamps. Best year, this is on page 133. This is new. And did you notice on the bottom, it comes with a die. It is a bundle and it's a crisscross. How cute is that? That is really cute. Hi, Kathy. I'm glad you could join us. And also, Walk in the Woods is really cute, too. There's Queen Anne's Lace, Field Journal. That would be a good one for a guy card, a masculine card. Even the font is pretty masculine. And Textured um, Essentials, which is really nice for backgrounds. And Palette Thoughts, that's another great... Um, Masculine cards. There are, I will have to say, they did a great job on masculine cards this year. I mean, masculine stamp sets. They did a really nice job with that. Um, so many different ones. And if you come back at four o'clock, I'm going to be doing um, the World of Good um, Suite, and we're going to be making a masculine card then. We have the. Um, background stamps and I do want to say on the background stamps these are the only ones you have the choice to still get in wood everything else is um, clean or uh, photopolymer now it's not, you will see that some of mine have the pink right here that just means that I already have that stamp set that's for me to help me keep track of my stamps so I don't double order Shh, I double ordered two stamps already Ooh -ooh. guess what door prizes Okay, so let's get to the beautiful colors. Look how pretty. Okay, let's go to number page 142. This tells all the colors. I do want you to notice that in last year's catalog, they did have the blends on a special page, had a great layout. They have added it to here on the very bottom of each one. There will be is where the blends are. So don't think that we got rid of them. Yes, they were on the retired list last um, in May, but that was because we don't, they're not selling them as individual packets. Like you can't get just what light or just dark. You have to buy them as combo packs now. Okay, and then he, again here, sorted um, paper. This is where some of the designer series paper is. That's the in colors. And our storage. Now I have this storage and I have to tell you, I love it. I really love it for our ink pads, our markers. It really is nice. Okay, and guess what? I have a favorite product. And why is favorite products important? Because if you message me on Facebook or email me with all 10 of my favorite products that I've mentioned today, then you're gonna be put into a drawing for another door prize. Excuse me, I just need to take a drink of water. I'm talking so much that I am losing my voice. Okay, these are our new water paint painters and this is a favorite of mine. Now, these are, you get three different sizes. So, you get the bigger one, the smaller one, and this is the one is my favorite. Look, at, it's a brush. I don't know if you know about this trick or not, but, whoops, come on, get back in there. I use these. Um, now, this is the old style from last year, but I want to show you what I do is, oh, uh, where is it? Here we go. This is the old ones, but what I did was I put a label on it. And what that means is this is only for sealing envelopes. So I put my water in it. I put this on the envelope because it's wet. So I put it on there and seal it up and voila, I'm done. There's no yuckiness of licking it, which we don't want anybody to do right now. And then just put it on there and it is great. And I saw this brush and I'm like, that is going to be perfect for that now. 
usually to open these, you open them a little bit backwards. Usually it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Well, you gotta do opposite. You've gotta turn it to your right to get it off. Fill it up with water and put it back in and away you go. Okay. Why isn't he going back on now? Oh, we'll deal with him later. I am not screwing him back on, even though I've taken it off 50 million times today. Um, but this is one of my favorite products. I am very, very excited about that. Um, I'm trying to see if we got any other new tools. Um, the classic ink spots here you can get is, a, and these are great when you're first starting out. If you don't have um, all the colors, this would be a great one to start off. And you know what I was just thinking? I don't. Let me quick grab something. I just thought of something I wanted to share with you. Okay. If you are new to stamping, this is called our beginner's um, brochure. And this is great because it has, like this one has all that you need. It has the snail, the ink, the block, the cards, the stamp set. You can get all of that to get started and how you to do that. Now, right before all of this um, stuff happened, I was going to have a Stamping 101 class. So once we can get, everyone can get out again, I will be having that class again. And um, I will teach from the basics going all the way um, so you know, learn how to stamp and how fun and creative it is to do that. So this is um, also very cute uh, if anybody wants this. Now the zany zebras, aren't they so cute? Um, that is actually in the annual catalog and that's one of my free, my favorite stamps. So you lots of different part um, possibilities. And if you wanted to have a workshop or, or, or they're called workshop or party, they're the same thing, but, and your friends don't stamp, but you want to sh share it with them, this is perfect. We can do a class out of one of the projects in here. So, and this is what I was thinking that made me think of that, is this assortment of um, stamp, we call them stampin' spots, because they're little. Our normal ink pads are this big, and they're just small. They're, oh, yo, here's one right here. See the difference? But that just gets you started. Now, if you have these, store them upside down, because you want the ink to go to the top of your pad. Okay, designer series paper, how beautiful. Now I went through most of these already, but I'm gonna do just go through them quick because I've got some people on that are on here the first time. So here is Peony Garden, isn't that beautiful? And we have the Forever Greenery. I do not have all of these done yet in good taste. Now that one has two pages because it comes with so many papers and I'm going to actually set that off to the side so I remember to tell you something about that before I stop oh, get it and then we have the flowers for every season now this is six by six paper and that also has two pages of beautiful paper and our ornate garden specialty paper you can see how some of them glim they have like a foil on them just beautiful and these foil ones like this that are clear you can use our stamp and blends on there and color those I did want to tell you about In Good Taste. And the reason I wanted to tell you about this is it's on the page 148 and number four. You're going to see the prices are different. The one above it is $11.50 and that is for the, oh, where did it go? Forever Green Ring. Now this one is $11.50. The reason the difference is you're getting 12, 12 by 12 pieces of paper. So you're going to get two of each one. But... The difference is you're going to get 24 sheets of this paper. So that is why there's the difference in price. Now, one thing I do like about um, stamping up paper, and I think this is the first thing. There's many things I love about stamping up. But this was the first thing that caught my eye because I can remember being at big box stores and I would find a beautiful designer series paper that I loved. And I'm looking at it, but I couldn't find the matching color and I would get so frustrated. I'm like, why can't everything coordinate? I said, it's so frustrating. And I said this out loud without thinking it, you know, thinking, you know, I'm always talking yada yada, you know me. 
But a lady next to me goes, you need to check out Stampin' Up. And I'm like, huh? And so I was talking to my friend, and I'm like, this lady mentioned Stampin' Up. She goes, oh, yeah, I do classes, Stacy. Um, and I, she went to class with her, and that is how I got addicted to Stampin' Up, because everything coordinates our ink, our paper, our ribbon, our embellishments. You don't have to think about it. It's already done for you. So here are the other pages, um, uh, some more colors, uh, colors, papers. And then we have more on this side. And then the ones that I showed you that are these in the ink colors, they also come in the 2019 to 2021 um, colors and also in the subtle regals, um, brights and neutrals. So, and then on page 151 is our fabulous, fabulous trimmer. I love this. Um, we did, Stampin' Up! did change their trimmer. I think it's been about two years ago. Um, with this new trimmer, it's great because you can cut two, sometimes three pieces of cardstock at one time. Definitely three pieces of designer series paper and of our Whisper White, you can do three at a time. So when I am prepping for classes or I'm doing a lot of, that I need the same size, that is perfect, especially at card bases. Okay, also, ding, 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 favorite product coming up. Here is another one of my favorite products. It is the pizza boxes. And that is, not pizza, I keep calling it pizza boxes today. We have pizza boxes, they're smaller. This is the paper pumpkin box. And this is what I had used for the one for the project that I made last session. So, but they are just so cute. I don't know why, but I am in love with these boxes. They are so cute. So you get 10 in a pack of those, and those are food safe, so that you can put food in them if you would like to. Okay. Um, Forever Gold, we talked about this. That goes with the Forever Fern um, suite. And then we also have new paper. Now, I did not purchase this paper yet. Um, it's the uh, Velveteen paper pack. That sounds interesting. We have new brass um, foil sheets, and we will actually be using that in the um, on the ma uh, mascul masculine card that I'm going to do next session at 4 o'clock. And also, there's Rainbow Glimmer paper. Um, memories of more this is what I was talking to you about these are what we would get and here's some samples you can see some of the beautiful paper and this is the product right here um, also favorite product memories of more um, and um, what was I gonna say oh a friend of mine did uh, cards with the world of good memories and more so i'm going to also get those because i think that would be a fun class too but this class in stamp camp rsvp is due tomorrow okay now going to embellishments oh who doesn't love a little bit of embellishments gotta have some bling bling some color oh fun okay remember i had told you about the gold hoops that coordinate with the forever greenery remember i told you about these okay when they come in a pack, and I was like, where are we going to store them? And then a lady on, I think I saw it on Facebook somewhere, um, she said, take, you get some of our embellishments, come in these little containers. You take one of those, you put them in there, they fit perfect. So when I got finished with mine, I went ahead and I used the retired two and a half inch punch, and I punched it out so it told me the gold hoop embellishments are in there. And then I cut out the item number and stuck it on the back. And voila, I have a perfect place to store those. Okay, another favorite product, of course, hello, who wouldn't love butterflies? Woo -hoo. When I saw these, I looked at Robin and said, oh, we're going to be buying lots of those. But these are adorable. I absolutely love these. And the colors are pretty peacock. Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and Terracotta Tile. So that's another one of my favorite products. Lots of favorite products going on right now. Um, the Gilded Gems, Playing With Pattern. Um, do I? Do, 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 do. I thought I had those in here. Do, 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 do. I have them that I have them, but now I can't. Huh. I don't have them in here. I do 
I know I have them. I just don't know what I did with them. But those are really pretty. They're right here, number 14. Very, very pretty. But I'm not sure what I did with those. Okay, um, and Good Taste Elements. I had shown that when we were doing the, um, the Good Taste um, Suite. RC Bloom, Artistry Bloom Sequins are right here. These are really, really cute too. Um, they come in different colors. The color coordinates, Calypso Coral, Costa Cabana, Mango Melody, and Rich Razzleberry. And then also the um, in color enamel dots. Those are not orderable right now because they were so popular. They sold out of them so fast. But when they come back in, you will um, you will uh, send out an email that they will be when they are available to order again. Now these come, you are supposed to get one of these with the Memories of More kit. Um, so when they come in, I will get them ordered and I will mail them to you if you do that class. Um, let's see here. Oh, ribbon. Oh, so beautiful. Um, I did have the in color ribbon is right here. I'll grab that again. And look how beautiful that ribbon is. It is just gorgeous. It's so gorgeous, they ran out of these too. Um, it was very, very, very popular item. And we all know with the delay of shipping and stuff um, that it is affecting every company. Um, you can tell that in the stores, there's a lots of empty shelves. They too are not getting everything that they need. Um, so, but when those do come in, again, I will send you out an email that you can get that. Also back ordered is the flowers for every season. Um, and the ornate garden ribbon is also on back order. Hi, Lynette. Thank you for joining. Hi, Celine. Thank you for dropping in today. Um, and then, oops, favorite product again. Lots of favorite products today. Um, this is the adhesive sheets. And actually, on my um, demonstration next time at 4 o'clock, we're going to be using these. Um, these are our adhesive sheet sheets. <laughs> um, they had these for a long time. Then they stopped selling them. And now they brought them back. And I am so happy they did. These are perfect for detailed dyes. Um, the project that we're going to be making today, we're going to be using the Nothing's Better Than Chocolate, or Nothing's Better Than, and these are the dyes, and I wasn't thinking last night, but I should have used the adhesive sheets to adhere my projects, and I, you'll see that here in a couple minutes, and um, I should have used those on there, but they are wonderful lifesavers. I love the adhesive sheets. Also new, and I've been using these on and off today, are our stamp and seal. Now, this is the light one, which means, for me, it's easier for me to, under, to um, remember. The light colored is the one that's lighter. It replaces our snail adhesive. The dark one, which is a heavier adhesive, is um, for the, it replaces the fast fuse. I'm not sure if you remember the fast fuse, and you had to go, when you used it, you had to check it. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. This one, I love how this one works. They're both great. Now the cases are Stamping Up exclusive, but what's in it is not, but the cases are. These are a little bit more than our snail because you get more adhesive in them, so you're not replacing them as long. And they do hold better than the snail, I will say that. Um, so we got the adhesive sheets is new. The Stamp and Seal, Stamp and Seal Plus is new. And also the foam adhesive sheets. Now I didn't order these, um, I'm not sure why, but so see how it has the H here? It's like it already has dimensional on it. So it, that, it's gonna raise it. Cause you know how sometimes when you wanna use these, you have to cut the dimensional, even with the minis, sometimes they're too big. Well, you've just cut it right out on here, slap it on your paper, you're ready to go which is wonderful. And also they have cling adhesive that you can change your old clear mount stamps to cling, which is also very nice. Um, okay, so, and then um, we're going to stop right here for this session. We're gonna go through the rest next time, but you know what we need to do now? We need to create, of course, 
Okay, so today, this time, I'm going to use, see my little cheat sheet, demo at two o'clock. We're going to use the nothing's um, better than, I always want to say nothing's better than chocolate. But there's chocolate, coffee, cocktails, cookies. Um, for my card, I actually use this right here as my inspiration for my card today. I really liked the colors in this card. I loved how the um, the colors of the cardstock that they used and how they layered it. So that is what my take on this. So let's get started. Okay, let me put that like that. And that this stamp set was designed by Connie Stewart. Love Connie. Um, she is um, that she, when she sold a million dollars in sales, you get to design your own stamp. Um, Christmas, so I'll stick it on the back. You get to design your own um, stamp set. This is our card that we're going to be using. It is um, a day without chocolate or coffee or chocolate. Is like, mm, just kidding. I have no idea. Not with me and my coffee. Definitely not. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what how to make this project. Now, with this project, I um, did a lot of it ahead of time because, again, I didn't think you wanted to sit here and watch me cut it out with a die cutting machine. So I went ahead and did a lot of this for you ahead of time. So let me do this. Um, let's see here. I would have room to set that right there so you guys can still see it. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is nine, um, eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. So for your sharp um, edges, you want to use a bone folder to line this. Because sometimes, even though we measure to score it on the trimmer, sometimes we're off a little bit. What you want to do is you want to line up your edges here on the end. Line them up. Go down straight down in the center first and then go out and it will be folded perfectly in half. Now the next thing we're not, we don't want to put this down yet because we got a stamp on it. We don't want to put this down because this is the inside and we're going to stamp on it. So we don't want to stamp because the reason we don't adhere before we stamp is if you make a mistake, guess what you do? You flip it over. So we always want to remind that don't um, don't adhere until you have it um, stamped. So on these, this is what I was talking about. I should have used the adhesive sheet, and I didn't. I used the liquid glue, and it was a little messy. I'm not going to lie. But it was fun. I still love them. I think they're adorable. Um, oh, my gosh. Look at the color of my nails this time. I have special nail poly uh, dip on that it changes color with my if it whether it's hot or cold so I'm having fun watching it change colors but what I did was I used soft suede first then I used crumb cake and then I used blushing bride so let's go ahead and get some stamping done you know what I did not grab my yes I did here it is we're going to use soft suede ink today and we're going to use these four um Stamps. Okay, um, let's move this up so I didn't get it out of the way. I want to stamp it now. And I'm going to show you a little bit of coloring too. Oops, don't want to cover that up. Okay, let's do the inside first. So for the inside, we're going to do the two cups and the chocolate. So where's my little cup? Remember, tap, tap, tap. And one thing I like about the um, photopolymer is you can see if there's ink on it. So I'm going to put a cup here. And then I put a cup on the end. I am constantly using my grid paper to line things up. I do that without even thinking about it. Okay. And then we want our chocolate. And when I stamp, so like right now, I'm lining the bottom of my block is on this line right here, is even with this line. And that way you know it's straight. And the same thing when I'm lining up my words, um, I'll show you here in a minute. So like this one, when I was lining this up, I'm going to line that one of the lines on the stamp set, like the bottom of the letters, is going to go on one of my 
lines on my grid paper and then I put this over it and that way I can make sure that it is straight. So this one we're going to do actually do in the corner and I set these up um because I'm to me uh, in my head I'm thinking of having a regular class. So what I did was I put this so that this edge goes on here, this edge goes here and it's going to be stamped in the perfect spot. So I'm going to line up both edges with my paper. Voila, it's exactly where I want it. Perfect. And I did the same thing with the one on the top, which says a day without. I'm going to just scoot this down a little bit so I can see it and you don't get my head in the camera. So you're going to line it up with the top and the bottom. Okay, you might get my head in here because I'm short. <laughs> And I can't see, I'm on my tippy toes. If you could see me right now, it's kind of funny. Okay, there we go. There we go, a day without. So that's it for stamping, because I went ahead and I already stamped these because I wanted to um, not have to cut them out while we're on. So I went ahead and did those. So this one, what we're, uh, you know what? Let's color first, actually. Let's do that. Set that off to the side. Okay, so for these, I'm using the Petal Pink Pale, uh, the Light Petal Pink. This is the Light Flirty Flamingo, and I'm using Soft Suede. So I want to show you on the coffee cup, I wanted the pink of Blushing Bride, but guess what? We don't have Blushing Bride. So last night I sat here and I was playing with the colors, trying to get as close as I could to the Blushing Bride. And this is what I came up with. Hi, Kay, I'm glad you could join us. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the dark with the Flirty Flamingo, but I'm going to blend it all with the Petal Pink. So when I'm doing the dark, I like to use my paintbrush because I like to kind of fan it out sometimes. So I'm going to turn this on the side because it's easier for me. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to hold it up here. So I'm going to number one. I want the, um, the saucer pretty dark. So I'm going to go ahead and color all that in. And then I'm just going on the edge here. I'm making a line down. And I'm just going to flick it a little bit. See how I'm flicking it? And that's going to give where it's just shading that part. And I want this shaded too. So again, I'm just... And I'm doing that part very light, like it's I'm almost touching it, like I have a feather in my hand. Now I'm going to use this, um, the smaller, the um, skinny line. I'm gonna use this for my blending and I'm going to go right over the Flirty Flamingo. I wanna color, bring that color in and then I'm gonna, and you want to color in circles. I need to turn this here. So you want to do it always when you're blending in circles because that's not going to give you any harsh lines. And I'm just going to keep pulling that color in. Okay, I must have done it a little thicker last time. Whoops. Always close your mar um, markers. So I'm just coming in here and I'm just really doing a very skinny light line here. I just need to bring in a little bit more of the Flirty Flamingo. It's still looking a little too petal pink because we're trying to get that Blushing Bride color. But remember, you kind of want to leave the center a light because if you look at your um, cup someday, you know, when you're having your coffee or your tea, look at it and you can see that it's the light hitting it and that's the kind of effect we're trying to have. So what I would do is I kept going like this. Nope, still not enough petal pink today. That's our flirty flamingo. Let's do a little bit more. For some reason, it is coming out. I don't know. I must have pushed harder last night than I am this afternoon. So we're just going to, like I said, I'm just going to add more. Because I want to bring it up a little bit. And the thing is, you can always add ink. You can't take it off. So it's okay. If you have to keep going in and adding, it's not a big deal. Just keep going in. There, that's looking better, much better. 
I must have went really light today compared to last night. There, much better. So now we're going to let it dry because when we let it dry, it's going to look more like that. Okay, still it's, I'm sorry, I still want more pink in here. Yep. You want to try to work with this when it's wet. It will blend better if you do it when it's wet compared to, um, um, when it's dry and trying to go back. You can do it, but it doesn't look as quite as blended. And sometimes I don't care for the color it comes out because it's had a chance to dry. Oh, I like that better. Now this will get lighter when it dries. Now when you're also using the blends, I'm gonna show you this. See, it's gonna come through on the back. So you wanna make sure that you let it, that you have something underneath and you're not doing it on um, a good table or something underneath it. Okay, now to do these, I'm using the soft suede. Again, I was playing with it last night. Um, so what I did was, I, I know I'm weird, I color it on the side. So can you guys see when I'm doing it this way? Hi, Melissa, thank you for joining. If you can't see me, let me know. I'm hoping it's under the camera so you can see it. Again, I just did the bottom. I kind of flicked it out and I went up. Same thing with this one. I went around the edges and then I kind of went down on this one. I went down a little bit further. Now remember, we can always add ink. You can't take it off. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend. And I always go over the dark color because I'm trying to pull that color out. So I want to go over it. There we go, see how it's blending? Do it again on this one. Now this is a small enough um, project that you can go ahead and do the dark on all three. But if it was um, a bigger project, then no, you wanna make sure that you're only working on small sections at a time. And I just made a boo-boo, and I'm going to show you our mistake. Can you tell I work with children? I work on a boo-boo. Okay, so see how I'm leaving, leaving a little bit? Okay, I want to show you how to fix this. Okay, I'll bring it up so you can see it. See how I, and it's just a little bit that I had gone out of the line here and a little bit here. Well, we have what's called a color lifter and it's white, but what you want to do when you do it, color lifter here, you know what I'm going to do? Let me do this so you can see. When you're doing the color lifter, what you want to do is you want to take it from the outside and bring it in because you're going to push that color back in. And remember last time I was talking about when I was coloring that using the color lifter to take some off. See, you can do it. It's going to take it off and I'm doing it light and I'm going to do it in a circle, but it's still, see how it leaves a ring around? And I really don't like that. That's why I don't use this to take color off of my projects. But like here, I'm just pushing it off to the side. I'm pushing it back in. Now I'm starting on my grid paper and then I'm pushing it in and I'll show you what I'm and then see, voila, it's gone. Magic! Okay, so that's how I colored those two pieces. This still is looking more pinkish than that. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I used all Florida Flamingo on that because that's looking really pinkish. That's looking the wrong color pink. I had so many markers out here last night. I thought for sure I grabbed that, but maybe I didn't. You know what? Oh, I went, okay, never mind. So I did not color this in the inside. I need my adhesive. Here we go. Take the lid off. Okay. Now I use my finger because I'm not patient, but if you pushed a little bit harder, it would have started. But remember, once you get it started, don't push hard 
because it doesn't roll nice. It likes a gentle push. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in. I am not going to put that that on the tea cup, um, the coffee pot cup on because I really don't care for the color that came out. I'm going to need to play on with that and figure out what I did. Um, but these will be on my blog over the next few weeks. Um, and then I will have the correct ones that I used. Um, cause that, like I said, that's really, that's not what I want. I want that color. And I know I combined two of them, but I just got to figure out which two I used. And so I will show, to let you know that when I put, post it. If you want to know before that, just let me know because you know me. I'll probably be working on it tonight to figure out why I did that. So I want to use my liquid glue on these. So I'm going to put my coffee on first. And what I did was I just, oops, this is getting pretty low. Come on. There we go. Um, I didn't put a whole lot, but I just hit the highlight areas. Now, you can, um, I do just because sometimes, if I can find it back, sometimes my nails will make an indent on the project if I use my nails. So sometimes I will use tweezers to figure out where to put this. So you line up my card on my grid paper. I kind of put it like right here. Okay, so I'm just going to lay the coffee pot cup there so I know where I want to put it. See, it's definitely not the same color. Not sure what I did. I'll have to play with that. Okay. And then I'm going to put the chocolate on here. Now, I kept looking at, see, it has all these sentiments on here. And I was trying to figure out how I could do or. And I could not figure out how to stamp or because there was, I could not find out. I was working late last night. Um. It's been a busy week at my house. Um, when isn't it busy, I should really say. Um, so I couldn't figure it out, so I just wrote it myself. Okay, so we're going to put chocolate right here. Kind of grab that the weird way, but that's okay. I'm going to put it about like right here. Because we can bring that down like that. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put on our chocolate because I do like how those turned out. And I'm going to use, I think I use big and mini on these. Oh, the dimensionals. Oh, where's my take your pick? I'll get out. Just flip this over. There we go. And... Let's use a big one in the middle. That's what I did. And I used two little ones on the side. Oops. There. Yes, I'm one that has to close things up. Well, unless it's late at night and Robin and I are busy creating and then we have stuff lava all over. She does better cleaning up right away than I do one more. But if I'm in the zone and I'm working, I leave things out. Then I get frustrated and I have to put everything away before I go on to the next project. Okay, there we go. So what I did was I took the um, soft suede stamp and write marker and I used the small N and I just wrote OR. There we go. That's all I did to put that on there. And there you go, you have your card. Like I said, I will figure this out and figure out what I did. Who knows? But, whoops, <laughs> as I flick it off. There we go. So there are our cards today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, we um, don't forget to use the host code if you ordered and be put into a drawing for more products. Or, I mean, a prize from me. If you order 250 or if you have a workshop, you can... Um, get uh, that. Um, it would have to be a virtual workshop as I am not doing any in-home classes this month just because of the wedding. Um, 
uh, my husband and I talked about it. And just to be safe, because we want to make sure we're at our daughter's wedding next month. But in July, when we get back, I will be having classes. So um, you guys have a great day. Thank you. And we'll see you guys back at four o'clock. Love you. And there you go. Bye-bye.